I am David, your developer on Duty, and in this video, we will look at recent improvements in NVIM DEP. Prerequisite here is an initial configuration of NVIM DEP. I've shown that in my last video. Please watch that if you haven't yet. I provided a link here. I installed NVIM DEP and I also set up some key bindings for the most common actions. One small but very nice improvement is that Hava now uses the C expression per default. That means we can get rid of this custom function here. NVIM DAP also introduced the widgets API, which gives a better presentation for the various things. So here we can just substitute variables with widgets and now we have the new UI. Now for scopes it's a little bit different because in principle it also allows to have a sidebar, which I will not show today. So you can write local widgets equals to require dab UI widgets widgets centered float of widgets dot scopes. Now let's see how it looks like. I implemented some sample JS file. It's just an express application and I can run it in my inspect mode. I can attach my debugger, set a breakpoint and execute some HTTP request. Now the breakpoint is paused. I can, for example, inspect this res object here and you can see the new UI, which looks a lot nicer than the old one. I can go into the objects and inspect even more. Now I can also have the scopes visible and you can see the same thing for the scopes, my local scope, closure scope, and global scope. There are also two other new features, which are called up and down, and that lets me navigate up or down the call stack, which is very handy. It works like this. If I pause at some breakpoint, I can navigate up the call stack and inspect some variables, and I can navigate down the call stack until I reach my original position. There's also a nice plugin which combines some of the functionality of NVIM DAP with Telescope. In case you haven't heard of Telescope, it's a great plugin which gives a very nice UI to NeoVim. So for this you just need to install Telescope, Plenary and Popup and then you have it. Now for this other plugin you just write plug NVIM Telescope Telescope DAP.NVIM Let's source it and plug install it. And now we have it. The configuration is quite simple. We plug in some Lua code here and we require telescope and run the setup function. And then we run the load extension function with dab. And then we can create some key bindings for example, leader df for telescope dub frames and leader db for the list of all breakpoints. It works like this. If I pause at some breakpoint, I can hit leader df to open up telescope, which shows all the frames in my call stack. I can navigate up and on the right you can always see the source code which is very handy and if I am at the correct position where I want to go I just hit enter and I can again inspect the variables and I can, can also go back to my original position. And now if I hit leader db I can see all my breakpoints and I can also navigate to them. Another nice plugin is NVIM DAP Virtual Text. So let's install it. Plug the hamster NVIM DAP Virtual Text. Let's source it and plug install it. And the configuration is very easy. You just write let g dab virtual text equals to v true. Now, if you pause at the breakpoint, you can see that you have this nice little virtual text, which shows you the content of the variables, which is quite handy.
If you prefer an out-of-the-box UI, you can install some plugin. It's called NVIM DAP UI. Let's source it and install it. And the configuration is quite straightforward. You just write lua require dub UI dot setup and then you can bind a key to the toggle functionality. For example, to leader dq and you execute lua require dub UI dot toggle and enter. And now when you attach a debugger, you can see that you get this nice little UI Let's just hit some breakpoint. And now you can see that on the left you have your variables, the local and closure and global variables. Then you have your breakpoints, you have your call stack, and you can also add some expressions. I hope I could show you that NVIMDAP is an excellent plugin with a very active ecosystem. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.